Hello there and welcome to this edition of the EV Revolution show where today I have a 2024 um, Volkswagen Group ID4. This is the all-wheel drive Pro S version of their ID4. Just doing a quick video to give you a refresh on this, a couple of small changes for the model uh, year 24. I want to thank Volkswagen Canada again for allowing me the use of this press vehicle and let me get right into the review. So Volkswagen has been very successful with the ID4. Since its inception in 2020, they've sold over 175,000 globally. And last year alone, over 6,600 units just in Canada, and I think somewhere in the area of 30 some odd thousand or so in the US. So it's been a very good vehicle for them as they push, you know, use that MEB platform to push out their electrification strategy uh, to various markets place. So it's been really, really good. What's new for this year though, um, is a few things. First of all, when we look at the design, it's still a very similar design vehicle that we know and recognize and like in the VW ID4 family. Um, it's got nice LED treatments, it's sculpted nice, it's a compact SUV, so obviously it fits into that cast, that, uh, that uh, section has really good roominess inside for four adults, five if you need to as well, and stuff. So it's a really good practical, um, competent, and very capable all-electric SUV. As I mentioned, there are changes for the model year 24 ID4, and one of the biggest is the performance factors since they have a new drive unit, as I mentioned. Horsepower is increased to 335 with the all-wheel drive version, and the torque is really put out as well at 501 pound-feet of torque. Now all this power comes from, there's two battery pack versions, a 62 kilowatt hour for the single motors and then an 82 kilowatt hour for both a single motor variant of the performance, a bigger battery, the long range, and of course this one being the all-wheel drive model. The range EPA is estimated at 423 kilometers, and with regards to charging, maximum DC, Fast charging support for the ID4 is 175 kilowatts at a station that will at least put that amount of power out and 11 kilowatts for AC charging, which again pretty well is the norm and it will safely charge that vehicle overnight. For fast stops, uh, you can certainly look at getting a 10 to 80% uh, charge in about 28 minutes. Now the interior of the ID4 is just like we know it. It's very functional, it's very comfortable as well and practical. A lot of uh, easy use for the controls for different elements like lights, wipers, turn signals, activating the 8S systems, uh, cruises, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the nice, uh, one of the new niceties on this is a 12.9 inch infotainment display which has back backlit sliders now uh, on the higher end models. So you can do things like volume changes and temperature changes very easily. And as a compact CUV, of course, SUV, it has a good amount of cargo space, 858 liters uh, behind the second row, and then you put that second row down, open it up to a cavernous 1,818 liters of space, which is great for hauling lots of stuff. So driving the ID4 is a very pleasant experience. It's capable, it's competent, and it's comfortable from an all-around package, and that's what the Germans are known for. Build quality is good, the infotainment, all the software is working very well. I've had no issues with this. Um, this one has power seats, easy to find, a nice comfortable driving position. Ergonomics are great, everything's within reach, good visibility all around. Uh, overall, the suspension has been very comfortable. Um, it uh, takes the bumps quite well. I've been running it on eco mode. Uh, acceleration is very, very quick. Even in that mode, it's more than enough to get you going to traffic and pass uh, on the highway and that kind of stuff. And what's the most surprising about driving the ID4 is the efficiencies and the increased range that VW has been able to pull out of this on the model year 24 here, where I'm seeing uh, right now about, um, I've driven over 145 kilometers and I'm still seeing 376 kilometers left of range. If you add the numbers, that puts the range EPA estimates of well over 500 kilometers. And I'm averaging 14.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. That's really good for a vehicle like this. This has been uh, kind of mixed mileage. I'm gonna to continue to, to monitor that. But overall, very pleasantly surprised. Great driving experience. Uh, for regen, it just has one mode. It's a B mode, which is their braking mode for regenerative uh, braking and it's just set for like a one pedal drive experience. So they've done a really good job to make this simple, 
you get in, you just press the, the brake pedal, the car turns on and like Tesla, and you uh, give it the accelerator, put in gear, and off you go. So VW has got a great, done a great job continuing to not really change things that work in the ID4 because it's a very popular car. A lot of people that I know that have it absolutely love it. It's got lots of room, good versatility. Well done, VW. As you can see here, there's multiple levels of trims and pricing depending on the battery pack. They start at 51,228 for the 62 kilowatt hour battery. Then if you go for the full spec all wheel drive larger battery at 82 kilowatt hours, you will start at $63,228 Canadian MSRP. My tester model was $64,995. And reminder that all models, both in Canada and the US, qualify for the respective federal government rebates of $5,000 in Canada and $7,500 in the US. So in closing on this review, uh, I think again, a thumbs up for VW for the ID4. They continue to make this model very pleasing, very, uh, very purposeful, and um, you know, really, really good from a both performance standpoint in range and efficiency and get up and go. Even though it's not the quickest EV out there, it has certainly enough power and torque to get you going really quickly. You'd be, you'd be surprised at this one. So great job on VW, certainly recommend it. If you're in, in the market for a compact SUV, uh, German build quality, really nice appointments. Again, this has some additional options that will set the price up, but for a decent price point comparable to a lot of the other compact SUV, all electrics on the marketplace, VW continues to have a winner.